Are you sick of not pulling anything in Madden packs? Make sure to head over to MMOEXP.com for the cheapest and most reliable Muck coins and use code MAZE for 5% off your order. Yo, what is going on boys? It is Maze and I'm back with another YouTube video today. Hope you guys are doing good and today I am back with an updated rankings on the best quarterbacks in Madden 21 Ultimate Team. The last video that I did on this was about like a month and a half ago or something like that, maybe even almost two months ago. So we're making the updated video because obviously a lot has changed since then. And I'm just gonna be doing the five best quarterbacks that I think are in the game right now and other people that have helped me out making this list. But for more coin making methods and mutt tips and other stuff like that, make sure to drop a sub down below on the channel. We're really close to 1.5K and we're trying to hit that soon, so I appreciate all the support. And also, I was trying to hit at least 20 likes on this video. So I'm just gonna head over to the auction block and I'm gonna show you guys the actual quarterbacks that I think are the best. Um, you know their price obviously price comes into consideration as well even though you know along with skill obviously like some quarterbacks are better than others but you do get more value out of some certain quarterbacks even if they have the same price or different prices stuff like that you guys will get what I'm saying so the first quarterback we're starting with actually might be a surprise to you guys but it is 95 overall Kirk Cousins um, some people kind of don't really see past the name sometimes but if you power him up he gets 95 throw powers so you guys already know he gets that gunslinger and, um, you know, just the, the stats across the board really aren't even that bad. He actually is a little bit more mobile than you would expect a quarterback of his caliber to be. He still has solid accuracy across the, across the board as well as, you know, he has good, even good throw on the run. I mean, 90 throw on the run isn't too bad whatsoever when it comes to a quarterback that isn't really going to be throwing on the run that much. I mean, obviously he has different stats like this. I mean, he's 73 carrying, you know, the 70 change of direction. I really doubt you guys are going to be running around, you know, juking people out with Kirk Cousins. Uh, I would be very surprised if you go out and do stuff like that. But honestly, the card itself is kind of a gem. He gets those certain abilities like Gunslinger that will definitely improve his card to make his card seem better than others. I haven't specifically seen or used his release before, but I'm pretty sure it actually is a faster. It's not like one of the really slow ones. So I know, you know, just to kind of put it in perspective that I know this card definitely has a decent release at, at least. Um, and he isn't really that expensive when it comes down to it 212,000 coins when you really compare it to like some of the higher tier quarterbacks For being a top five quarterback at 200k is definitely not a bad, you know, definitely not bad price whatsoever uh, As some of these quarterbacks on the list are going to be very very expensive, which is unfortunate But that's just how it goes. So you guys can power him up Like I said, you can power him up for cheap his power up is cheap, too and uh, you can get that gunslinger on him and you can have a pretty decent budget like budget top tier quarterback for that makes sense you know but yeah kirk cousins the first quarterback i'm showing you guys the next quarterback on this list is the 97 the new 97 dan marino so like these aren't fully in order but you know they kind of are in order in my sense but you know obviously you guys can switch these around most of these cards go for whatever and you know they're as good as they are but 97 dan marino he is a limited time card but he's going for just under 300k on xbox right now he is very very slow so that's pretty unfortunate but you already see that he has that 97 throw power you can easily get that up to a 99 um all around this card is actually really good when it comes to a pocket passing quarterback very very good he obviously has very low speed you know but there's not much you can really expect from a dan marino uh you'll see he has a 41 juke move so you already know but 97 overall dan marino 94 play action as well um so he gets the gun so you already know i mean a dan marino card he's gonna have a super fast release and he's gonna have that gunslinger because Dan Marino was a gunslinger back in the day. But he has much better stats across the board when it comes to throwing compared to Kirk Cousins. He is a little bit more expensive, but he's not as mobile as Kirk Cousins, which is unfortunate. But I mean, when it comes to like kind of mobility, it's either gonna be really mobile or really not. And I doubt you're gonna run that much with Kirk Cousins. So Dan Marino, I would say is just a step above Kirk Cousins, especially when it comes to overall ratings and such. So go out and get yourself a Dan Marino. He's really not that bad at price either. 300K is still not too horrible for a quarterback that's gonna run your team. So Dan Marino, next one up on the list. The next quarterback we are showing on this list, we are going up in price once again at 585K, just about 97 overall Randall Cunningham. So he has just under the throwing stats that Marino has. He has that 97 throw power though along with 93 speed so i think that's kind of the biggest factor in this card so he pretty much just has like he has a step below marino accuracy but he has much more speed and the same throw power along you can see 93 spin 94 juke move 83 carrying across the board a very very good card 93 change of direction 69 stiff arm you know so 
all across this dude can get out the pocket if you really need to he's pretty much just a right-handed mike vick and that's pretty much what a lot of people like and not a lot of people like that mike vick is left-handed so we see here 93 speed you can easily get up to like you know i mean depending on the theme team you have you could get that almost up to 99 i'm pretty sure you can get that up to like 98 overall speed which is ridiculous for a quarterback um 97 throw in the run uh you know this obviously the medium actually isn't amazing but it's kind of you know i mean you get the right chemistries you get the right actual abilities whatever you need to get on him you can get that up enough to where he will be definitely usable i know he's not the most accurate quarterback all of these guys but uh you know i mean just because of his speed and how well he probably plays um i still need to get him for the cowboys theme team if i even keep up the cowboys theme team but you know here we go, Randall Cunningham, next one up on the list. So the next one up on the block is a very, very big purchase. 97 overall Deshaun Watson. I know a lot of people already know that this card is one of, if not the best quarterbacks in the game. 90 speed, a little bit slower than Cunningham, but he has much better throwing accuracy. Um, he still has that 97 throw power, and that's kind of the biggest thing out of all these cards, that throw power you can get. But overall, this card is much better um, when it comes to, you know, compared to him and Cunningham. Like I said, he is much more accurate. He still gets those certain abilities that you need for a quarterback to pretty much make the game playable this year, which is one ridiculous, but I'm not going to get into that right now. You know, it's, that's too much time to consume to, for me talking about abilities in this game. But Deshaun Watson definitely gets it done. He's pretty much just a more accurate Cunningham, but a little bit slower and agile. So, you know, I mean... There's not much more you can ask for a quarterback when it comes to Deshaun Watson until you see the next card. The next card, you guys probably already know who it's going to be, but, uh, you know, Deshaun Watson definitely still up there. Price-wise, a little steep. 1.2 mil is, is pretty steep. Um, even I barely have that many coins, but, you know, I mean, if you got the coins to spend, you know, say you have a lot of coins, you need a good quarterback. Deshaun Watson is definitely a very good pick. So, I just looked up Aaron Rodgers. Uh, as you guys probably knew, he was the next one, and there's actually none up on the block. So, we're going to switch over to um, Mutthead real quick. I'm going to show you this Aaron Rodgers. So, here we are on Mutthead, and we see 97 overall Aaron Rodgers. I still think, and I'm pretty sure it's a very popular opinion, that he's the best card in the game. Um, you guys already see across the board, insanely accurate with still that 97 overall throw power. The price is the steepest price out of all of them. 2.4 mil, but I think he's worth every coin when it comes down to it. This Aaron Rodgers is actually a ridiculous card. 82 speed, still not bad. Mobile enough to get around the pocket. He has enough change of direction and all that stuff to really kind of get it done. Obviously, like I said, he is a very expensive card, so that is a little unfortunate. But this card gets everything done he gets all the abilities you need on a quarterback he's just simply the best quarterback in the game like i said most of you guys probably already know this so i'm not gonna you know go crazy on it but i already do know that uh you know this aaron Rodgers is ridiculous i played against him one time and this dude made every throw like it was ridiculous this dude was like running backwards throwing off his back foot like hucking stuff up and he was making throws so pretty ridiculous but aaron Rodgers definitely the best quarterback in the game as i i feel at least right now but yeah, that's uh that's the five quarterbacks I think are probably the best quarterbacks in the game. I had a couple of people help me out. Shout out to Dill and the homie Geezy. Uh, if you guys know who they are, then you know shout out to them. If you don't, go find out. But yeah, I appreciate it. Hopefully you guys had a good time watching. Hopefully this helped you out if you are if you are looking for a decent quarterback. If you want to see more budget players, definitely let me know. I can make another budget player video at some time in the future because I know that these quarterbacks are pretty expensive, so I don't really want to go over the board with that. But uh, yeah, that's pretty much going to be it for the video. Hopefully you guys enjoyed. I appreciate you guys watching. For more stuff in the future, make sure to drop a sub down below and a like. Trying to hit 20 likes on this video. Love y'all. Have a good one. I'll see you on the next one. And peace.